Hi, so what I'm going to show you in this video is how to sync up your local computer music files into your Google Play Music. So you'll notice if I open up my Google Play Music, I have all of these files that I actually uploaded from my uh, local laptop or my desktop. And so what I'm able to do now is when I go into my Google Home and my Google Home Hub, so this is a Lenovo Google Home Hub, or you could use the Google Nest Hub. And if I go into the Home app and I go into Settings, so I'm going to scroll all the way up to my Music Settings. And you could see here that I have it set now to my Google Play Music by default instead of my YouTube Music. So now what I can do is tell this Google Home Hub. So I'm going to say, uh, hey Google, play my playlist. Playing some music on Google Play Music. Hey, hey Google, next song. So I'm not going to play the music because I'm going to get a copyright violation if I play the music. So now what that allows me to do is upload my local music from my laptop or my desktop up to the Google Cloud and play it on any one of my devices. So let me go ahead and show you how to do that. Hi, so what I'm going to demonstrate here is how to set up the Google Music Manager. So the first thing you want to do is go to this URL. So I'll have this URL in the description area of the video. Now what I want to do is I want to populate my Google Play Music with my local music files that I have right on my computer. So what I'm going to do here is go to this URL and I'm going to download the Music Manager. So once I download the Music Manager here, I'm simply going to re I'm simply going to install the Music Manager here. I'm going to click run. And now this application is going to be installed on my local computer. I'm going to set it up here by uh, putting in and logging into my account. Now that I'm logged in, I am done. I'm just going to go to my music player. So now that you have this set up, you could go to the music library and also go to albums and create your album so I can add my own music. So you can listen to your iTunes here and you could also upload your Windows Media files. So what I'm going to have to do here is I'm also going to have to put a form of payment to verify that I'm from a particular country so I'm going to do that. So you notice here it doesn't cost anything I'm just going to click on activate and I could choose my particular genre that I'm interested in but I'm just gonna click next here and I'm just gonna click finish so what this will allow me to do is it's gonna allow me to play my music in my other devices especially the Google Home Hub so I'm gonna click on my music library here and I'm gonna add my music so I am gonna install here the extension. So I'm going to add this to Chrome. So I'm going to install my Google Play Music extension here and what this allows me to do it's it's going to allow me to drag and drop my music files from my Windows computer into the browser and it's going to upload my music files. So I'm going to add this to Chrome. I'm going to say add app So I'm going to click on play music now. So now that I have the Google Play Chrome extension installed, I can go back to my main music player. And you'll notice if I click on music library now, and I click add music, I can actually drag my files and upload it. So I'm going to upload my Coldplay. you notice it's uploading here. Now I'm going to add another music just to and I'm going to add Green Day. So 
So I could also configure it there. You'll see here that it's uploaded. And you'll notice now I could actually play it. So I, I actually paused it there because uh, this video is going to get copyrighted if, if I actually play it. So I didn't want to play it, but you, you could see how it's actually uploaded now. So all of this music here is actually accessible now through my Google Hub and Google Nest Hub Home devices. And I could play it anywhere and also on my phone. So as you can see, what I've done here is I've dragged all my music files here into the Google Music Play. And, and you can see it's uploading all of my music files. And it's actually finding all of the icons and CD covers for it. Now, the other thing you can do is also add a folder. So you can see it's added 79 of 140 music files that I have. And you could also add a folder here. Now you could also add a folder here and once you add a folder what it's going to do is it's actually going to monitor the contents of the folder and keep it in sync. So I could easily copy the music files by just dragging the mix folder right into the browser here and it's going to sync up all of my music files from my local computer all the way up to the cloud and this does provide 50,000 music files that you could sync up for free and um, that'll make it available to all of your online devices including your Google Nest Hub and your Google Home Hub and um, that's really it and I hope this helps and please subscribe and thank you for watching